Hey, it's Jolly Ecker. Hope you're doing well. And today we're going to be playing some Minecraft. And today we're hopefully going to be finishing this boat behind me, or at least most of it. Um, we may not be able to finish all of it, but I'm at least planning on getting one side at least done. Um, because, you know, you only need one side. Backside doesn't matter anyway. Um, the thing that I may not be able to finish is the stained glass, because... Well, that's just going to be really hard, um, because, like, it needs so many layers and whatnot, but I, like, I can do that off-camera if we don't finish it today. But yeah, should be pretty good. Luckily, we got lots of resources. Uh, last video, we got quite a bit of wood and stuff, so, you know, this should get us at least one side in theory, so that's great. So I'm going to uh, probably go mine a little bit, because I need coal for the stained glass and stuff, because I never smelted it, and so... I'm going to do a little bit of mining, a little bit of uh, extra resource gathering real quick, and then we can get building. The nice thing about this boat, though, is that I'm not going to have to build the back of it, which was very annoying on the last boat, took a long time and stuff, but this one, I just have to stick the back into another portal, and it, and it looks fine, so, you know, that, that's a big plus. I'm actually going to go down to where I found the, the skeleton spawner, because it's right around here, I believe. Um, because that would be nice and dandy to get some bone meal while I'm at it. I think it's over here, this way. Yeah, and then there's a zombie one, like literally right there, which is just wonderful. Okay, I'll break those, and oh, that worked. Okay, I just remember that I need, also need copper for this build, so it'd be good if I can get some of that. But the nice thing is that they changed copper, so... It's not like one piece gives you one copper. Um, it can give you anywhere between one to five, maybe? Or at least five is the most I've ever gotten before, so it's very nice. Oh man, I hit like the copper jackpot. It's like a ten vein. Okay, I also got some cobble. That way I can make lots of furnaces because I'm going to need a ton for this because I have 17 glasses or stacks of sand to dismelt, so, you know, it's going to take a while if I don't have a lot of furnaces. Also, I just realized that I haven't gathered, like, any black wool yet, um, so the sail might have to wait, but the nice thing about the ores is it still looks good without the sail, so, that's nice. Well, that does its thing and smelts all the glass we need, we're going to go down and start working on the boat. Okay, the other thing that's going to have to wait for sure is the obsidian for the next nether portal because that just takes so much obsidian, I don't be able to get that much, so that's just going to have to wait, that's fine. I'll just put like a cobblestone mock, like, frame up for now. Okay, I've got my screenshot and everything ready to go, so should be able to start building. I think I'm going to build this side first because... If you're looking at the boats from this angle, it'll look better if this side's done. And then you see that one in the background might be kind of cool, so that's what I'm going to go with. So, yeah, hopefully should look good. I also realized that I'm probably going to be able to do the front, because that takes a bunch of bone, bone blocks. And three diamond blocks. So, yeah. I also don't have, like, the red dangly thingies, you know what I'm talking about? Like, the... Uh, crimson, whatever, I don't know what they're called, but I don't have any of those. So like I was saying, it just gets to stop right here, which is very dandy. And I think I'll just build the whole thing around. I'll just texture one side, you know, because I have the resources to build it all the way around. Uh, maybe not the deep slate. I'm going to need to go mind that, but... Luckily, that's not too bad to get, especially because that cave that I was in before had just buckets of it. Okay, I got the first and second layer. Like I said, simple enough. This isn't too bad. So, breezing on through. Right now, it's kind of looking like a weird type of cookie, but I assure you it's not. It'll look better once I get trapdoors in, vines, copper. It's not just going to be this weird oreo cookie type thing so let's just give it a minute okay i got it all done besides the polished deep slate on top and besides of course this is just the framework 
Um, I left the front kind of just like this because I'm not exactly sure how it goes. I didn't get a well the screenshot of it. Um, but I think it's actually pretty close. Like, I kind of just build off of that from where it is right now. So, it's going pretty well. I just need to go mine some deep slate to be honest. But I'm going to try to get all the other features in before I go. This has lush cave. This is my lush cave that I'm in right now. And this goes way deeper than I thought. Like, this is enormous this is insane man this cobble deep slate is not going to be fun to find it takes a while even with the gold with the diamond pick to mount a couple deep slates so gotta get out of here oh my gosh oh no oh everything's just going bad okay let me light this up <laughs> don't want that happening again right so I got most of it done, I'm installing the ores now, so it should look pretty good. I'm running very low on resources though, so probably won't be able to get as much as I thought I was going to be able to do, but that's fine. I'll do it off camera for just next time. I ran into a problem, I was building one of the ores, and there is a blockade. <laughs> Gonna have to trim this back real quick. There we go. Not the prettiest it could look, but I'll have to tidy it up later. Okay, so I'm not gonna have time to do all of the glass because it's like 11 layers deep and it's kind of insane. But I'm gonna get the outline for it and like dye it and everything. And yeah, it should be good. But it's going to take me a while to do the glass because I'll probably have to mine some of it as well just because it's so, like, tall. So, yeah, it might be a bit of a challenge to get this. But I'm hoping that once it's done it'll look good. If it doesn't then, well, then it's a huge waste of time and I'll be very upset. But, you know. Ooh, that's actually super convenient. When you use these, it gives you two of each. So, that is actually super nice. <laughs> Gonna give me a lot more diet than I thought I was gonna need. Oh shoot! Wait, how much? Oh, it gives you eight if you do one. Okay, that's good to know. It's not like I wasted this because I'm gonna need a lot of purple stained glass, but man, that is that is dandy. Okay, how do I want to do this? This is really being a problem right here, so I might have to take it out. Also, I don't have silk touch, so I'm going to have to remember to not try to use this too much. But the idea is to have it kind of thinner at the top, and then go like wider and around the ores at the back. Oh shoot, I just realized that I made all the other petals shorter than I was supposed to. And so this, all this glass right here needs to go out one more. Whoopsie, okay. It's fine roll with it for now. Okay, so I think this for the basic shape of the stained glass will look pretty good. So let me put that away. So it kind of is like the tip of it is kind of like parting it so it kind of like flows out from it and like that's where it's coming from and that kind of flows out. I'm not super happy with this shape but it kind of flows and then it goes and then it's like it's kind of flowing out from here and then it kind of slowly goes back into the portal. So that's kind of the shape I went for. It's not super great, and I have to move all this because I made all these ones wrong. As you can see, it's that pattern right here, and then it's not that right there. So it's wrong. I'll have to fix some, but I'll do it later because I have ran out of time and resources. I had thir 13 more wood is all I have, and then I still have a good amount of birch, but that's because I got like two stacks. But yeah, I'll probably do like a stream or like a big just work thing I, I'm trying to find the word I can't remember um, but yeah I'll probably just work on it off camera or on stream so yeah because we have run out of time and yeah I did not think it would take that long but I guess building a different boat um, you know takes time and I did get both sides done so I'll have to do for this episode um, so yeah but if you guys are interested I'll leave my link for the description uh, my Twitch in the description because I probably will do resource gathering on there or something. I don't know. 
Um, also, my Twitter will be in the description if you're interested in that as well. I have a Twitter now, so, you know, that's cool. Okay, but yeah, there we go. That'll have to do it for the, today's episode. As you can see, got the soul lanterns put in. Not the soul lanterns, just the normal lanterns, because I had some iron laying about, so I put them in. Um, but yeah, it looks a lot better once I get the vines and, like, the copper in and stuff. Because right now, it just looks plain. Just, like, all one color, all one thing, and everything, so... Right now it doesn't look but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new, I appreciate you subscribe. If you like and like the videos, new videos every Thursday, and remember to stay jolly.